Hi, this is Lucas with the seventh tutorial of the series of how to create a simple breakout game. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some textures within the game so that it looks better than it was with the blue background and simple things. So, the first thing that you have to do is to import these three assets the stars BG, block texture, and ball texture. So now we have to create two materials. So right click in the images folder, create and go on to material and write here ball texture. And create another one and name it block texture. Now just drag, sorry, now select the ball texture material here where there is a gray box with none and then the brackets texture click select and select the ball texture image and the same thing for the block now that's that they are done select them the both the two of them and drag them in the prefabs folder right here and now we just have to drag the ball texture onto the ball and the block texture onto the block save and supposingly we have exactly what we need with the ball with the moon texture and the block with that texture as well so that is done now we have to create a simple background so go to game object create other and plane Rotate on the X by 90 and rotate on the Y by 180. Reset the position. A bit back. Now, we have to scale it up. On the X, don't be too, uh, uh, too exact because it is just a background go onto the images and drag the stars bg onto the plane and that's done as well simple as that so now we have a complete game with a te with the texture and if we finish it view one screen And the same thing goes for the game over. Game over. That is exactly what we want to do. So, before concluding this seventh tutorial, we need to add more rows to the game. So, let's go onto the game controller and add other for loops which are going to make us more blocks so remove that comment we did before in our previous tutorials copy that for loop for five times one two three four five now we have to change the variable name so for example c c and c and a a and a come on and we have to change the y as well so 30 40 and 50 control save and if we play we should have five rows let's add another one because there is a little bit of too much space and let's call it B B and B here B and we'll make that 60 and that's exactly the final result that we want to so it look how it um, uh, it works exactly as we had one row 
just with, now we have six. So, that is it for this tutorial. In the last tutorial, which is going to be in the next one, we are I am going to show you how to create that simple animation of the ball bouncing right here in the main menu. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.